Warning, this video is intended for audience who are 13 or older. If you are not 13 or older, please fuck off and tell your parents to moderate what you watch online. Alright, I, I, I really don't know what the fuck, what the fuck Look, is going okay, on okay, in, uh, okay. in goddamn so, Godfrey. So, 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 so I have to say, once again, my my joke that I had last week was, you know, we kind of... The, the show kind of shot its load early, right? They blew... They, 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 mm -hmm. We had the whole climactic battle with Gary and, and we saw the door of darkness, and now they're, like, trying to figure it out. I'm still saying, uh... How many episodes will it take to get back to a greater uh, a plot line? Again, to metaphorically get this train back on track. I have no problem with fluff storyline to you know right to like these 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 whimsical yeah one-off things yeah. It was, it was, it was, yeah yeah right yeah, i have no problem with you but the problem was right that's why i like forza right. so much right forza great yeah theory, because it was because it was the problem is forza committed right like every episode of forza was uh we are in high school of uh, today we have a substitute teacher yeah. you know right and that's it right like forza didn't randomly stop being a high school to be focused on like, hey, by the way, um, here's a here's a here's a fucking uh uh a coup that yeah. happened, you know, right, right? Is this? It's really boring. also it's How a coup for a school that's a different school that we don't that isn't that is technically that shares the same building as our high school, but is completely unrelated to our high school except for one teacher apparently that knows that that like. Like, what, do you think that Minato was just like, hey, uh, Alchemy Association, look, I got the great, I got the best hookup, okay, I got, I've, I've been working at this place, I've been, I've been working it out for the last few years, perfect, we don't have to use that place where I watched a bunch of kids die from a, uh, a Rubik's Cube, right, mm -hmm. we can find a new yeah. dimensional space, it's just the garage out back of this other school, and it's like, yeah, they, they don't, they don't even know this, this part exists, yeah. right, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really well. I with with. Well, I, I, mean, I was I was kind of fine with like with the like with the with the um Renge grandmother adventure, you know, right? But this one was like, oh, yeah, that's right. I was like, I, I was like the show remembered that that their main setting was a high. It's school. a high school that they right. remind they remember that it was a high school and they remembered that like. I mean, again, so like the thing with the the like it was really convenient that. That Garrett decided to attack them during their right. That's what I was gonna break. say. It's like it right. made sense that it was there, but it's like, and again, this is like the difference between. I would say the other one that I can think of for high school is like Zio, right? Where there is a plot mm -hmm. point of, um, fuck, what was his name? Uh, uh, Sogo? yeah, Sogo, to yeah, Tokiwa Sogo, right? Yeah, there was a whole, there was mm -hmm. a plot point. There was a a footnote of a plot point of like. And we talked about this before, right? Part of his whole thing at the beginning mm -hmm. is like, what do you want to do when, like, your second year, what do you want to do when you're, like, you know, what's your, on your college, like, uh, you know, you, after you graduate, what are you planning to do? And he keeps writing, I want to become a yeah. king, right? So they, there's a bit there, right? And that, and there's a footnote of a thing of like, hey, you know that it's like, the year has passed and now you're like 18 and like, I think either he, gra like, he graduates off screen or he goes into third year and just fucks off from school. Like, he just, there's a point where school stops being fucking relevant. They just, they just actively yeah. go, yeah, 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 that school shit, it's yeah, over. It, 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 was never, it, was, it was never the primary, right. uh, primary, uh, thing. Right, but they, but they let him be a high schooler and then just said, hey, yeah, 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 anyway, that high school shit is over, done to done. This is, they have, they mm. started off with the high school thing, had it for, a little bit of a second got real focused on the whole coup d'etat uh, insurrection thing from Garion. Focused on that for a long time, and then they're just like, "Oh fuck! Oh fuck! How did I make it to my third year? Oh my god! I didn't do any of my homework over winter break. Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh god! Who are these people? Like, uh, oh oh right! Um, there's a drama club. Um, there's a hmm, there's a comedy club." There's a comedy yeah. club. There's a comedy club. Yeah, yeah. There's a comedy club yeah, that I gotta yeah. talk about. I gotta talk about that. But it's like, oh man, who are all these oh. people that we forgot about? Oh man, Kajiki, weren't you just falsely oh, imprisoned by a bunch yeah, of, of stray villagers? All these people have always been here, you know, right? These are the, all this is the, important. Yeah, characters this is the always... kooky cast of characters that we've grown to know and love of the students of. I'm sorry. What's the name of this high school? Furasu. Okay, sure. We yeah, we knew what the name of this school was before. We've talked about that before, right? Right? Uh huh? Yeah, I knew what the fuck this school mm -hmm. was before that. 
Yeah. Right. Three K. It's a uh, cover writer God chart episode thirty. A rival appears. On oh, no, arrival arrives. Gotcha and Juliet. Yeah, not Gotcha right? Juliet. Look, Hotoro, which would be problematic. Yeah, Hotoro is back. Is 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 back at high school. You know. Right? Yeah, Hotoro he, and uh, Rene uh, and formerly incarcerated uh, swindler Kajiki. Yeah. Uh, hey, somehow. Hey, somehow. Uh, Rene and. And Hotoro somehow conveniently got placed into the same class again. Yeah, well, you know, Ooh, nines... Well, and, hey, you know nines and ones, they go together to make a complete ten. Mm, right, right. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, I, 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 love how, uh, I love how... I love how even uh, Hotoro is now treating Kajiki like shit, yeah, right? Yeah, even, like, even Hotoro... I mean, after that last adventure, he's like, all right, you you are getting, becoming quickly becoming irredeemable. Yeah, it's, it, it's really problematic, you know, right? So, so, so something funny, right? For some reason, when the teacher came in and said that we got a transfer student, right? I, for some reason, thought it was going to be Spotter showing up, Boy, right? the 24-year-old like, like, like man. Like, he was supposed to be a deep, like, he was supposed to be, like, deep in disguise, you know? I mean, like, like that's what actual, it felt like. Uh, it was that's what it felt like Spawner's role was going to be when he was first introduced. And then you have to realize that he's supposed to be the implication isn't that he's a student, it's that he's like a TA, I guess is the best way to put it. Right? He is mm -hmm. there to help them, I guess, in the sense of the greater like duties that they have. He's not actually like there to like learn with them. He doesn't need that because he's already graduated. But like it at least would have made sense if they were trying to focus on the height, like balance the high school and the alchemy school stuff where it'd be like, oh, this is, uh, you know, student or, or teacher, like, uh, teacher's assistant or like, uh, like teacher in training, uh, Kuragane. Uh, everybody will refer to him as Kuragane sensei. And he's in the school with Minato and they both, are like you know undercover but no spotter's just on also woefully gone from this episode uh like he was already fucked off from the last like arc but now he's like just completely like we're focusing on other shit it's so fucking weird mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, it's real. It's real funny how Spotter is like, like he's pretty much become a guy that only appears like three C's in an episode now, just to uh, just to yeah. leave, right? Like, 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 to be fair, look, he's look, whatever. He's not the secondary writer, yeah. right? And he's he's not the main character, main character. Yeah, and I mean to be fair, know? he uh, look, despite his uh, losing record as. Uh, uh, as the common senshi Valverad, uh, Valverad, the common rider, uh, has been doing pretty good. Uh, so, you know, mm -hmm. uh, the, the fuck yeah. off, right? Like, he, if he shows up, yeah. he's gonna be a problem. Um, mm. anyway, yeah, the transfer student is not nope. Spawner, uh, despite it is, that, it my, is, I, it yeah. is, fuck, what's her first name? Uh, uh Sena, Sena, yeah. Um, Suku, Sukumo? Yeah, so, hmm, so I just want to point out, this is one of those things where, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. once again, uh, I wish I didn't know this, but because, but I do because of something stupid. Man. Okay, okay. Who would have thought that in 2024, Yu-Gi-Oh! Zeal would still be uh, rattling around in my dome rent-free, so that immediately once I knew that, once I heard the name Skumo, I was like, or Tsukumo, I was like, Oh, it's a nine. It's another nine pun. She's supposed to be nine, just like Kudo. Oh, it's a nine thing. Because I remember that about fucking Yuma Tsukumo. And I'm like, I hate this. I hate this. I wish I I wish I had could blot all of Yu-Gi-Oh! Zeal out of my mind. Like the fucking scourge that it is. But instead, this is an episode that's, that purely exists to remind me of, of past mistakes. Uh, that I wasted my time with. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, she, right, yeah so no, I, Sena Skumo, who is, uh, we're introducing an episode 30, a fucking childhood friend character for Hotoro that is, I guess, supposed to be implied to be Rene's romantic rival for him when she yeah, hasn't really, boy, that yeah. has not really been a plot point, yep. but because right. Kudo is that nine and really Skumo is weird. nine, which nine will... Will, will Hotoro pick so that his Ichidose and their nines can become ten? Mm-hmm. Right. 
Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Hey, look, look, look it's the childhood friend. Uh, they're, look, yeah, you know, the uh, childhood friend Kajigi that we've seen feels, before. I don't know why Kajigi is so offended by the situation. Uh, it's especially okay. Why, think- so it's especially it's especially baffling because so right after this, right? So the opening play is blah blah, and then the first scene that we get after that is them on the rooftop, right? And Kajiki is waxing poetic with Hotaro because he's still been talking to the girl from the fucking UFO episode or the 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 yeah. The but did Kajiki mad because uh, he finally got something over Ichinose, right? He's like, oh yeah, hey, I'm talking to an actual yeah. girl. Yeah, let me you know? let me actual let me tell female, you how much better right? than you I am by showing telling you how you're supposed to do it because I know everything. But like, it's it if Kajiki had not been in contact with her anymore or like he kept or he if it was like he was he kept regretting not like keeping up with the girl right uh then you'd think that like okay that's why he's pissed off at or like freaked out about ichinose getting like attention but no he's just like come on man you gotta get laid fucking like it's so great to get laid man like me you know right you, you gotta be like me, yeah. you know. I, I, you know, you meet a, you meet a girl in another state. Yeah. You know, you talk about how you both read a, a very it, particular. How you both? How you both are exchange. are uh, like chatting on a certain uh, forum website. Mm-hmm. Right. Stuff like yeah. that. Right. You gotta be like me. You know. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and then this episode is just filled with. <sighs> Again, forced. I mean, it's really weird, right? So, Sena is clearly, like, putting, as a character, she's clearly, like, scientifically designed to be this, like, girly girl, like, cutesy, like, she's trying to woo, like, Ichinose. Rene, all of a sudden, is like, whoa, who's moving it on my turf? Turf that she's never claimed or cared for before. Let her, like mm-hmm. or even or even knew existed. Right, like she never. Right. It's not even that she didn't like wasn't attracted to Hotaro. We've never seen her show any signs of giving a shit about romance whatsoever beforehand. Right, like we mm-hmm. talked about before when uh, this. This is that's never been because like this goes back to character dy- like their character dynamic is like hey. We are not only are we our school buddies, but we are also yeah our we buddies, yeah we know? happen to go to the same right. part time job after school. It is a perfect. That is a, yeah. We are in we a have talked to HR and we are, and you know? HR has been very clear: no dating within the company. We're fine, right? Mm-hmm. And then we both said, "What the fuck yeah. is dating? We don't know that. We're sixteen, and what is sex, right?" But mm-hmm. yeah, it's so boring. it's so out it's of left sudden, field. Sudden? Right, this sudden character change for 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 reading. Hey, that was something I was like about the show. Right, is how like, hey, look, oh man, look, they're just yeah. friends. There was like no, yeah. weird, they're, look, they, there was like no weird thing behind them. You know, good. Hey, look, look, we look, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, I'm fine with having a female hero. Look, having a female hero in this sport in the show, right? Hey, look, you don't have to meet the female hero in a fucking romantic. Yeah, I mean, in, in, I mean, uh, let's be right? real, right? So like. So, Man, that technically, is, when was the last time a female heroine has actually been romantically involved with, with the main, main character? Is the is the heroine. important part though? So that's what I was gonna say, right? Revice right, yeah. didn't have that right at all, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Geats, there's a little playfulness about like if Neon would you know want to date one of the guys, but she found her own romance, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Life, yeah you know? I choose. She I choose. Yeah, I that. choose life. I choose the 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 found life that I have of being an artificial. I choose being. the love. I choose to love myself and 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 my own identity. And my own identity that oh. is the identity of a dead girl that I am the artificial uh, clone of uh, from uh, because my parents, my father specifically, is a psychopath. Um, now, Saber, technically. We do have the heroine being romantically involved, but not with the protagonist. It's with um, Blades, but like I, re- I don't Blades. remember what the fuck his yeah. Eclair wants oh, to eat, yeah, boy, he wants to eat it, like eat an eclair and then stuff uh, the girl with his eclair, right? Um, and then, and the only thing I was going to say that's kind of like that was Zero One, where they they play, they dance around whether or not. Um, uh, Aruto and Iz have 
more of, have a deeper connection than like just being good friends and like partners i would no, i would it doesn't help that she's a robot built to start yeah with. that's well you that's why so this is why yeah, this is I this is why I have, I this, this is why i have an issue with it right so so it doesn't help that there's a secretary uh human human gear just like just like uh rise key that you can just have and you could just buy this if you just want to but the fact of the matter is while they do have a trusting relationship with each other, there's really any any romantic any romantic perspective that a person can have on that is purely by their own implications, right? It is mm-hmm. it is the like joke of you can't spell subtext without S E X, right? I mean, sure, there's mm-hmm. subtext, maybe, but you have to look for it, right? Maybe. She's also a robot. So like chill, guys. Like just chill, right? I don't think, with the ex- and except for, I mean, Zio didn't have it, Bill didn't have it. Uh, I guess Gaim had it to an extent. Oh yeah. But that was yeah. more of like a that was more of like an Adam and Eve thing. Like, a, like it was like you it are, has a more you are yeah you are thing, you right? guys are bound to each other because you are th- to become gods, uh, sort of things, and then like. I guess Drive did have, like, had an actual relationship, but again, that's not... But that's not the same thing as... Oh, no, yeah, Drive, yeah, she has a memory. Right, 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 but that's what I'm saying. Like, that's that's still, like, a... That's a difference between, like, uh, if Yaiba, like, and and Aruto had a relationship versus, like, uh, like, uh... If in Geet, I don't know. I'm trying to think because it's different when they're two riders, right? Because I don't, I can't think of a, mm-hmm. a situation where two, where a, I mean, the imp, the implication of or implementation of female riders is still such a fresh thing that they have not quite mastered how to like properly use. They still mm-hmm, haven't, mm-hmm. I guess, defaulted on she. They haven't had a situation where. A female writer is both the secondary writer, the female protagonist, and the love interest of the male protagonist, right? They haven't mm-hmm. they haven't bundled all that shit together, right? Uh so it's like it just feels weird that they are trying to do this now and like because it right. just feels like something where they are They have run out of ideas to play with, and they could have maybe... If this had been (laughs) paced out a different way in storytelling, maybe this could have been something set up, but they just kind of, like, speed-ran through the whole Garion thing, and now we are... Yeah, it's almost like they had to, like, completely change their original... their original story attack. And And so so now there's... uh There's been no, like development of the characters relationships with each other because we haven't had these like one-off episodes we've only been focused on and i would say rightfully so the immediate issue of oh my god our school got taken over the society that we the secret society that we work for that uses alchemical powers has been fucking uh gaslit into thinking that we're the bad guys oh fuck we have to stop this guy and his uh three little uh Doll children that he made to uh, fight us. Boy, man, it's a lot of stuff that gets. Yeah, now, yeah. Really. So let's 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 move on from this. This I think we said enough about the Rene, the Rene in the room. That whole romantic problem. Hey, Atropos is playing mm, with her little but, doll siblings. Um, I really hate this. I yeah. really, I really hate this. I did not know these things were sentient. I mean, by the way, I didn't I know, know that they, they were, were sentient by them. I didn't know they were sentient. Before having a card right. put on them. No, I thought, I thought they only came city after you insert that. Yeah, no, it turns out that they can just them, uh, like... move around just like any other action figure. Yeah, you know, they, they can wiggle around. You know, they can like move yeah. bed. I like to imagine that it's just some. Oh, it's a hundred percent like it's a hundred percent two guys with sticks up the asses of these like uh, gauze wrapped action figures because they're. I want to. This is my <laughs> thing. I want to believe that they're just like. Uh, they're just gotchard figures that someone wrapped in like medical gauze and then just like rolled them around in the dirt a little bit and went, okay, good enough. That's that's a that's a that's a prop. 
Yeah, you look good. Put them, put, look, put them all in different poses to make them look like, like they're doing something. I just think it's just so funny how these things like. Yeah. And I'm just like, man, these things are really fucking Ooh, weird. You know, they're just. No master, no, oh no, oh. Man, you know this is this is some putty. This is like some putty. For I mean, yeah, it's like hard. some putty shit, but it's just like. <laughs> The putties even weren't, like, moving around when they were little, right? Like, I don't were think they, they ever, I don't think I, they ever, like, were, I know they had, like, the clay figures were there, but I don't think the, any, I don't think any of the monsters of the week or the putties, yes, like, no, they were. Yes, moved yes, around. Yes. I think they actually did move when they were, like, the little clay Oh, God, really? Thingy. Yeah, I look, I look, I'm pretty sure if I go through, I go through the clips, I, I, I could find it, but I'm pretty sure they, they did move, right? Because that's how the episode worked, was like Rita would tell Finster, like, hey, hey, Finster, go get a, go, go, go get a monster of the week. And he would go over to the table, yeah. right, where he put all the mosses, all the mosses would move over, like, hey, pick me, pick oh, me. Oh, but, the, but, did the, but, did the, but did the putties move like that is the question. I don't know. Because the putty would mass produce. I think the putty would kept it like... like yeah, like, I mean, uh, the putties like, did not uh, have enough they, brain cells, it feels like, to fucking, like, operate on a... On a, mm -hmm. a uh, on a sub uh, neurological state, um, but yeah, uh, Atropos is um, she's she's putting together a team. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, she does literally put together. Yeah, a she team, puts you know? up with she the does. power of four uh, uh, weird uh, rag doll toys combined. We make one sentient whole chemi or amalgam that appears to not need a. A chemi card, um, right? Because it just kind of fucking like materializes without a single chemi card it's, being it, added. It, it, it personally it becomes the it, it, it's what the uh, amalgam looks like before. They right, did, but like, we've never seen a amalgam thing. form without having yeah, a, like a base, chemi like the, card. The, the, yeah, the we base, haven't seen a base, base form card. right of amalgam because they've always had to be formed by like the malice of people or the combination of these weird ass, dirty ass dolls. And Gary and shoving a card up their asses. Um, so uh, that's just weird that she just pulls that out of her ass. You know what else is weird that gets pulled out of their fucking ass? My nightmares. My fucking nightmares. My absolute goddamn nightmares. Uh, no, the man. absolute. <laughs> you can't the visceral it, you know, reaction right? that I had to this yesterday was yeah. so. Wait, wait, wait. So you're, you're, you're back. Yeah, you're, you're back. Yeah, now, yeah, right? yeah, 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 right? yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, were you? Did you watch this episode with Molly? In no, the room no, 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 no. I mean, I mean, oh she was in God. the room, but like, I watched. It's one of those things where it's like, I wake up. I mean, yeah, I wake up earlier than her uh, on pretty much any yeah, given um, day. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but, yeah, but, but so yeah, yeah. there's a lot of time where I'm just like sitting around with headphones on and my laptop, and I'm just watching stuff, and I'm just like, I just watch. Like, I I read. You know, hey, it's Sunday. You know, I'll, I'll read. Uh, Ma I'll, I'll read Shonen Jump, you know. I'll I'll uh, take my uh, comically large uh, Two Face coin and flip a coin on whether or not I want to go to Yu Gi Oh on Sunday. Uh, when it inevitably goes, uh, I'm too tired, so uh, head I, I go. Oh, I guess I don't want to go to Yu Gi Oh today. Uh, I then I do, you know, I pull up some other stuff, and I, you know, if 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 the yeah. episode is up, I'll I'll go. Oh yeah, Common Rider, I'll watch that. The the pain I felt when I need you to understand, right? Some crazy shit happened in this week's chapter of My Hero Academia. I can't believe. Yeah, I, no, I heard. I, 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 I saw. I see. Yeah, spoilers, I can't you know? believe. Look, look, you know, hey, look, Deku could, Deku could really use. I can't like believe that they're making right? him fight Shigaraki unarmed. I mean, it's crazy, right? Um, yeah, literally and figuratively. Yeah, right. You know, right. Um, so I went from that to. Oh, so the. The, the real villain uh, that revived themselves this week wasn't in any of the manga I was reading. It was in uh, Gotchard. It was, it, the villain is back. The one, the one true villain of all time. Uh, the man, the legend himself, goddamn fucking, uh, fuck, he was the crane. Fuck, what was it? Uh, fuck, what's a crane? What's a crane in Japanese again? Uh, Inu, Saru... Oh fuck! God damn it! Oh, 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 yeah, uh, oh, oh. Kijino, fucking Kijino! God damn yeah, it! Why is it in my brain? Ah, I want to drag it out. <laughs> Soto's, it's 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 Soto's and Kijino. 
Ah, what? And he's holding a spear, too. It's so bad. There's also... There's so many references. There's so many references. There's they so keep, many They keep making references. Fucking, we put so much fucking mind There's so... It's there's crazy. so many Sentai references where it's just like, he's got a spear. There, there, there's fucking... And just... Uh, it's the word why he walks out with the yeah. spear? Yeah. And Kijio's right? wearing... Kijio's got, 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 got a crane thing around his neck. And just... And the fucking uh, the goddamn Sonos uh, hits him with a car because oh yeah you know we're on cars now fuck goddamn whatever the fuck this other shit is the uh, oh oh and then he reads he talks about that's the best way to be a uh, he's talking about manga and shit it's oh, yeah, bad he, oh, yeah, he, I, he, would, he would he would definitely be definitely would like manga I, you know I I <laughs> it's such it, a fucking unseen look I as a thing. rule I can't tell what was the purpose of this scene. Like, this is just actual fluff. Uh, well, they just want to prove that there are other uh, clubs at, um, uh, once again, checking back, uh, because we keep forgetting what the fuck the actual school's name is. Farasu High School. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Whatever. You could have named it. Fuck all. We forgot that this high school existed. We never named it. Uh, don't ask questions. And I still would have believed you. Like, uh, saying that, I genuinely thought this was a different school's, like, orientation thing happening. When they, sh like cut to like the the title like the the plaque outside saying it's for us who high school i'm like okay cool we're at a different school now fuck it oh this is what their school's name is fine sure whatever um anyway yeah this was incredibly uh triggering uh i would like to sue for damages i will be talking to Salino and barnes um I, I, as a general rule for my own uh health and to keep a balanced lifestyle i make it a rule um that i don't drink before five uh just because that's you know hey five it's five o'clock somewhere hey happy hour i drink for happy hour you know and if happy hour decides to go a little bit longer sometimes that's fine never have i wanted to break my tradition my ritual of drinking before not drinking before five as watching this at 12 30 in the middle of the day on sunday and going i got to I gotta shoot, I gotta find, I gotta find something to shoot up, like, I got not a school, I mean, like, drugs, I mean drugs, I need drugs to put into my system, put the bl drugs directly into my bloodstream, tap, tap, I'll tie off the, tur I'll, I'll tourniquet off the, 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 the vein to make it pop, you know, and then slap it right into my fucking, right into my bloodstream, you know, just go right there, I just, God, what a, what an ins incredibly cursed cameo, right, who, it's been, Two years, and they're back. What? A, wh how? Why? What is the? It's really funny that it's that. Yeah. Right. That there was. Right. Is that like someone from like like last year's set type nope. season? Nope. Right. Or nope. the current set nope. time? For whatever reason. Oh, no, just... For whatever reason, those two are back. Do you think they were just in like the Toei headquarters that day? You know, I right? think that they're going to say that this is part of the greater uh zen kaiger don brothers multiverse um oh, and uh somehow wow. gotchard is wow. part of it and all of it turns out that all of the bad toei properties are all share the same multiverse but all the good ones like ryuki and geats share their own multiverse and never the twain shall touch yeah. Also, we find out that Hopper One can just change back into Hopper One. Yeah, we. I mean, we um, knew that. I, I, Hopper I, One is basically. Did we knew? Yeah, that? because he's been because he's been transforming into just fucking uh, regular Gotchard, and then he goes, "All right, time to not fuck around. Let's go Super Saiyan, guys!" And then fucking goes into Cross Hopper and, and Ten Liner. Man, I thought I thought, I thought Hopper One could, would would just stay. As, I like, wish Hopper like One would stay as Cross Hopper too, because Cross Hopper has a little helmet. And he sits in a little train, and he's perfect, and he's my friend, and he's my best friend, my little buddy. I want him, and I want to have him ride on the little train and go choo-choo, and I want to reclaim my lost childhood, okay? <laughs> but don't worry. Yeah, but don't... Look, it, it, it's the drama club. Yeah, meanwhile, club, the drama know? club is, a, right. is run by a drama queen because a kid shows up and has a full mental breakdown on stage. Uh, it's pretty yeah. funny. This is uh, that's. Hey, I didn't realize that the comedy club kept going. That's awesome. If could you imagine being in high school and there are different clubs presenting themselves and they each have like a moment on stage in an auditorium and one kid just shows up by themselves, starts talking for five seconds and then has a complete fucking breakdown in the middle of like the school. How how absolutely savage an American school would have been to him. I 
It would have been ripped that to shreds. That thing would have been all over the. TikTok that kid would have been. No, that kid would have been all over the fucking nine o'clock news in the obituaries the next day. Okay, that that kid would not mm-hmm. have made it. That shit. That shit was wild. Man, I refuse to believe any drama club would not have members. You know, I, and there's one thing about about high school is that there's always an actor. There's, o- there's look, always if, a yeah, full drama if there's, club. If there's, it's not like those weird. It's like those those, those weird niche clubs that you need to get five members. Yeah, you know, it's, right? To, to, to yeah, make, the only reason that I this club isn't so he says that what's his name Miseria or something. What's his name? Yeah, uh, what it Mikuria mm-hmm. Mikuria. Right? Okay, so. It's crazy to me because it feels like it. So he says that like, like oh, I was inspired by like acting uh, in middle school. I saw Romeo and Juliet. Okay, basic bitch, whatever, fine. But then he says all of my other members left. So presumably, so we say that he's in their. Rene says that he's in their class. So he's a third year, right? Which mm-hmm. tells me that. This isn't like they couldn't drum up interest. This is, they did a really bad job of continuing to set up, like, the next generation of people, like, to give them the tools to keep functioning. All of the third years were just running it by themselves. It had no inclusion of anybody below them. And so, the, mm-hmm. when he says all the other gr- members left, I just think they all just graduated. They all, like, there was, like, yeah. there, were, there were, like, 20 fucking people in this drama club, and they were all seniors at this point, and they didn't fucking, like, give a shit about me korea and they said fuck you i don't care about you whatever nerd four eyes whatever they just bullied him hey, okay. hey we're going to theater school yeah. now and then they know, just right? and then they i'm gonna go become a power ranger fuck you right and then they just left right and gave him none of the tools no connections to like keep up the like the drama club that they were you know had functioning that all right so see, this is this is what i call cultural difference Man, is there no supervisor in these clubs, i mean that's right? what the isn't it the whole point of what this like the whole thing in all these like club animes is like you have to get a teacher sign off and stuff isn't that exactly what right but like the, te- but, like, the teachers just have to sign off and say yeah yeah, I know what it is, but it's not like how an American high school, right? Where, like, hey, there needs to be a teacher in this group at all times. I don't know you about know, there needs to be a teacher right? in the room at all times, but they need to at least be a, like an active, like they have the club activities have to be run by the by the teacher, right? Like, there's yeah, yeah. Right? oh, yeah. trust me, because let me tell you, as someone who went through who experienced a lot of bureaucratic shit, and honestly, I wasn't the one that took the most of it. Uh, trying to get a kendo club started at my college, uh, and for some reason, the college that is very pro-Japanese and our re- relationship with Japan, we have a sister school and we have an exchange program with, is was incredibly resistant to signing off and authorizing like our official kendo club, even though we have a fencing team, was an insane oh, man, was an insane was an insane like bureaucratic red tape like thing to deal with i don't think that even after i left they were able to get the like kendo club uh, like officially signed off so we just kind of had like an impromptu like we had a basically like back alley like fucking like kendo club that we like oh my god did you have an illegal did you guys have an illegal kendo i mean it club? was that it was wasn't it, that's the thing and that was the problem we had with like maintaining members was like so we get like because normally like a, a physically demanding club you like if you're doing a sport club you get some kind of credit so it was like so people when we became second years right it was like oh so do we get credit for this and we're like well we're kind of in a legal like we're in a bureaucratic like hold with the school right now they let us perform at the japanese festival but they still haven't like given us the okay that we're an official club so right now we're just kind of like uh riding on the coattails of like the the fencing club and like some people that want to do mixed martial arts we're just kind of like using the gym space when we just sign off on it but we don't have like credits that we can offer and it's like that's i understand that but what happened here is Everybody just fucked off on on Mikuria and just left him to fucking like float on his own. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but don't worry, look, but look, but but I guess uh, his idea, his idea for um for to recruit them is to put up a fake show, right? Not with actual club members, but like he's just I'm just gonna hire some other people to be in my club, take my club look 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 banging and, and cool, you know, right? I'll treat everyone to join my club. Yeah, this could be you, you yeah. know. 
right? And you join my club, right? Yeah. Uh, the, yeah. Don't you want to like act in a? Don't you want to act in a play? Don't you want to dress up and uh, you know? Hey, perverts, perverts of the school! If you act in this play, you will be allowed to by force kiss a girl that cannot say no. Hey, don't you want this? Come on, perverts! I know you're out there. Mm. Uh, speaking of perverts, mm. Kajiki. Kajiki is here for no other reason uh, than wanting to be. Oh, and oh, no, he just yeah. shows up. He just shows this. up. I think it's real funny, right? And then tries to be. He's like, I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm, I'm gonna be. And involved, then Skumo you know, shows right? up, and she's like, I'm also involved, and I'll be Juliet. Sure, I get that we're trying to shoehorn in this whole like, like forced like relationship conflict, like romance conflict. And then Kajiki is like, No, 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 I want to kiss Ichinose. I'm his the Juliet to his Romeo. Rene immediate this again goes back to Rene not being a romantic character like has never shown it. She's like, eh, I don't know if I really want to be like the. I don't know if I how I feel about being in that role. That's not really something I want to do. She drops out immediately, and then it's between Skumo and Kajiki. The rival for love here is not Rene with Skumo. It's Kajiki. Kajiki's the one that's trying to fuck Hotoro. He needs to get his approval. Yeah. You know. Right, you know, and then uh, meanwhile, hey, I mean, but man, it was like a, this is like the smallest fucking like sub story I've ever seen, right? In like a Kamen Rider series, right? Where uh, where uh, fucking uh, Lakitus is now. Yep, with she's the, just with here. The she's she's an, she is her assistant. This sentient doll creature that was uh, summoned. Also, we know by the fact that they were uh, given like alchemy like association clothes when garion took over that she could have another outfit but instead she's still stuck in her like goth loli like look like egyptian greek greco goth loli look uh yeah. <laughs> also hey, so, hey do you remember how we established that you needed a, a ring not if you just right? not you if you just blow down the fucking yeah. roof no, you can just, not if you just burst through, if you the just ceiling. burst through the ceiling don't worry about extra dimensional space <laughs> i'm pretty that's the thing you could do this entire time i was like oh i mean ah. clotho also it's not like clotho does it in dread form she shows up and then turns into dread like uh what is it form three or whatever right yeah and it's I like if she had busted through as type three, I'd have gotten it because okay, it's the power of a fully powered up dread. But she does it with her bare fucking fists, and it's like, okay, are you trying to imply that Clotho is strong enough by herself to break through the magic, magic barrier, barrier of right. the alchemy school that we established before? You could not break through by other means. This. Everything about this society breaks down the minute you think about it for, like, five seconds. Oh, uh, this society has always been crumbling around. I'm amazed the fact that this site is able to, to operate every yeah. day. Right? Like, the school system makes no sense. The alchemy society makes no sense. Right? You know, um, look. Um, look. So, yes, yeah, Bonner and... And Clotos have like a mini fight of extremely irrelevant. Yeah. This is like so they they just needed an act an action. We, they needed an action scene and episode. they needed something. They needed an action scene and they needed an excuse to put Spawner and Lachesis in the same room together. Right? It is. It is mm -hmm. again. There's an actual ship being pushed, like a, a narrative being pushed there. Right? Yeah. I. Why? Why is? Why are we trying to? shoehorn in a romance with Kudo and, like, Hotoro now. It doesn't make sense. But anyway, yeah. Mm. Well, we already have one. Have already have yeah, one. Spawner, right. anyway, Spawner right. fights Dread Type 3, and, uh, apparently, Spawner, uh, in Kamen Rider Valve Red form, is better than Clotho in Dread Type 3 like form. Oh, yeah, because Constructa is, is a powerful yeah. form, you know? Because Clotho has a master, unlike Gary. Sure, you know, right? That's the sure. Thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. It's like that. I, uh, I reason, do like right, I do know? like the return of the Dione Big Stick though. Mm -hmm. Big yeah, Stick is my right. favorite. Also, Big Stick I might be my favorite Kamen Rider weapon, at the very least, out of Gotchard. <laughs> <laughs> fear the fear right. the power of Big yeah. Stick. You might have a wrench sword. Yeah. So I like how Minato does like this smoke screen attack, right, to disappear. I was like, where are they going? Yeah. Are they going back to the classroom? That fucking that that Tato's like f literally. 20 seconds ago broke through where were you guys disappearing off to yeah right 
This makes those are like, there's like no, like, I don't know where you guys are go hide. She knows the She already broke through the insane. ceiling. Right, like, well, what else, what else, what else is going, where are you guys going to hide? Yeah. You know, at this point. I, uh, right? yeah. That. Yeah, and, uh, and I guess that's it for their, their story this episode. Yeah. Right, it's just this scene and that's it. Yeah, also, I it's guess, even though really Lachesis, weird, like, boring. prevents, uh, Spawner from doing the killing blow, she still decides to go back with them. Right? This is, this is such like a weird, like this mini scene is like so weird because we, because they don't get reference for the rest of the episode. They just straight up disappear. We don't follow up on it. Yeah. Right? I don't understand. It's a, they just needed to kill like two I minutes. guess, they, yeah. They did not have something to air. The, they didn't I mean, have I guess to imply. Was on the I guess bank. the idea was they to. Look at the episode I guess the. Going, oh, man. We need two I guess minutes. the implication was that, mm -hmm. again, this is. They're trying to build the, like. C or D narrative of what's going on with spot. Hey, what's going on with Spawner and, and Lachesis, I guess, and like the alchemy school. Um, mind you, hey, two people are uh, surprisingly absent from it. I wonder what they were up to. Oh, hey, we finally get the answer of what uh, Sabimaru and Renge are. Not high schoolers. They are not high schoolers. They yeah. are they are <laughs> full ass adults out that have graduated high school and are now being. Oh, yeah. And they realize it would be very problematic if they were to start hanging around high school. They realize no. Uh, we do not want oh, to be, Nope, doesn't matter. Do not want to Doesn't be matter, you got permission. Oh, hey, control. Minato Sensei, in all of his infinite wisdom, as we've seen based off of his ability to handle the whole Garyon situation, uh, has decided to uh, actually force you guys to come to the school to act. Yeah, uh, I, I, don't, I don't understand I, how this actually works. I will right? say, it, right? it, it is. it does remind me of... I, I'd assume you didn't really give a shit about these things in high school, but I know that... There were people, I know this is a common thing for a lot of people, there were people that, whether it was the prom or like homecoming dance or something, they might have like mm -hmm. a boyfriend or girlfriend or somebody that they wanted to take that was outside of the school, and apparently it was a real son of a bitch for people to like get a, a kid or someone else from outside, from one school to get like permission to come to this other school's dance, right? It's kind of like that, mm -hmm. but it's also... Um, being brought into a school play, which feels weird uh, to just take two, like, adults off the street. Like, even if they go, no, no, they're my friends. It's okay. It's all good. They're, they're cool. It's like, aren't they, like, 22? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Why do you know 22-year-olds? And then still don't worry about it. No, no, I'm worried about it. Why do you know 22-year-olds? That's weird, man. No, no, it's cool. They can come hang out. We're going to just do this romance play. See, so the worst part is, right, it's, like, also Spawner. I mean, not Spawner. Uh, uh, so... Sami Maru and Reggie are definitely not into this because they realize, oh, this is really bad. Well, right? I mean, we also, Sami Maru might be the worst person to, now that I think about it, the worst person to cast in any dramatic, like, thing, unless he's going to be tree number five that stands in the background and doesn't do anything. Right, it's just weird how, like, they get, like, they get permission from, from me to, like, permission yeah, for what? Per it's not, yeah, okay, understand. you have permission, but you still don't have our consent. Right, so it goes back to how I was like, once again, going back to how like the, the Alchemist Society uh, makes those and the high school setting, it's just really fun. Like, they look, I think Red Gates, I should have just been students. N not students from this yeah, school. But, like, maybe like students for like the next town over that has to travel yeah, to this yeah. school to do alchemy, right? Because it's like, it's like, you look, you only get, there's only one alchemy every five prefectures, all yeah. right? And, and, and this is where we gotta yeah. go. You know, right? But yeah. yeah, yeah, but yeah, but I guess they're in now. So yeah, they're, they're part. They're part of yeah, it now. Yeah, and now, and right? now, and yeah. then apparently, neither of them have never. I heard mean, of I mean, Sabi Maru has because apparently it requires that level of intelligence to uh, know about Romeo and fucking Juliet. Right, but Renge has never heard of it. She's like, yeah, hey, what the fuck yeah. is this? Well, <laughs> well, you know, fucking, she's a she's a country bumpkin that lives out with a bunch of old people. She's she only. You know, you know that thing that old people famously don't know anything about? Fucking old ass plays and shit. Right. Also, something also I know that's very jarring. There's a transition with Hopper One, right? Like an anime. Oh yeah, yeah. When he one, does the when he go, does the whole play, he does like a little dance. Like, yeah. I was like, 
What the fuck is this? This they have never done like this weird animated. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to be fair, look, it, look. So, I was like, this is not a thing in a show. I mean, it's, this has never, it's been, never been used before. before. Why are you? It's never, why are you it's never been used before. Why are you but introducing I, these weird concepts? But I, so but I kind of want them. Oh, he, right, he is 30. like a, that is the most Digimon looking version of Hopper one I've seen. It's pretty fucking great. Right, I'm not against it, right? It makes sense, right there, like, but the fact that it's they're doing look, episode now, thirty is time. So you know what they say? It's never too late to change things up. In episode thirty, oh. it's time to switch things around. Mm, you're right. That is true. But yeah, uh, we get a, uh, we get. Uh, I'm amazed this guy. Look, when he started moving, I was like, man, there is no way he was able to recount the entire saga of Romeo and Juliet in like five minutes. Right? He ends I, mean, up doing he, it. I mean, I was like, okay. Hey, look, look. He's he's not the sole remaining member of the drama club for nothing. He knows how to fucking make how to abridge an episode. Yeah, he, he really he really gets to the point real quick. I was counting it's like only there's like four frames, right? That he uses to tell the story. You know, right? It's it's crazy how many frames he quickly he, you know, there's like five he literally tells the story like five panels, which I think it's great. Imagine like someone tells like, Yeah, yeah, man, you need to uh, condense this this play into five panels, you know? Yeah. Right? And that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Also uh yeah, Ranky thinks this is, the, this is the greatest story ever told, and and I was like, man, it's like, and, and she she wish she she knew about this earlier, you know? Right? Yeah. Uh. Anyway, god damn it. Okay, so so it's also yeah. So Sina yeah. shows up, right? And this is why I thought that this was a real bit, right? I thought this was like some weird gaslighting bit once again. Well, that's the show, thing, right? right? Where where she was a right? Safer that's what I was about to say. So it doesn't help that this is the show where. I mean, even Hotaro's memories have been perpetually... Everybody's memories have been perpetually rewritten in this show. Like, over and over again. People's brains are Swiss cheese. <coughs> I swear to God, if it's, like, revealed that she's an agent of Garyon's from after Hotaro got his memory wiped about, like, Hopper 1 and and Steamliner and everything and his past there because we still don't really have an answer of why the fuck he was interacting with the, tr the sentient train and the giant yeah, fucking yeah. grasshopper Digimon right but like if she's if there's right. some mm -hmm. like bigger plot of she's related to his memory wipe and that's what it is I'll fucking lose it because she's way too sus on this like it's really weird yeah yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I guess even she doesn't even mom knows who she is, so she's real. Or, she's real. She's or we guess with the mom too, with my, with mind wipe. Oh, I mean, to be fair, the mom has been shown to be able to easily be gaslit. Yeah, and so, also, you know, uh, yeah, right? not talk about her husband ever. Mhm. Mm yeah, but yeah, so yeah. Uh, what's it? There, there's more drama. Of uh, and then Reggie gets. Uh, Reggie gets really offended by a six-year-old high school. She's just saying she that she, she's just she's just saying that if I, I'll give this one to Renge, it's more of a joke of like, damn that girl is like, like, like she's a not like man eater, but like if she like I'd be in, she's basically like. I'm glad that she's not trying to take my man, like, because that girl is, I mean, mind you, she shouldn't want to date, like, a 17 or 18 year old, right? But, like, still, it's, it's, it's a little weird, but I'm, I get what she's saying. She's like, oh, she is, like, dangerously cute, which, yeah, she's putting on the fucking charm like crazy. She's doing everything shy of having giant butterfly lashes, like, just flapping, like, blinking her eyes slowly at Hotaro to try and, like, seduce him. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, and then, uh, man, then, uh, I keep, and then, uh, look, then, uh, Sabi Maru, uh, look, yeah, he's, he's cracked the code, like, he's, cra he's got this whole thing, he yeah, cracked yeah. this code and wide look, open. Look, look, he, he looks for, he looks for m not numbers in everyday life, yeah. you know, right? It's he all 23. Out, you know, right? He tries to figure out how everything works, right? Yeah. And then, I uh, look, and then, um, Re uh, Rene gets, uh, mad. I guess, I mean, right? Yeah. Right, she gets mad at the fact that, the fact that she has done nothing, you know, right, to get Hotor's attention, that someone else has gone and, and taken Hotor's attention. It's never been a know? thing that she, that he cared about. That she cared about, I mean. And now it's right? the it's biggest fucking thing she, in her life. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, 
I guess. And then, uh, and then, what's it? Going back to how like there's too many off screen adventures. Uh, Atropos still has cards. I thought they lost all their cards when they. Defeated well, wait. Are Gary they? On. Are they? Well, th we know that there are cards that they haven't collected yet, and. I think I think we're still missing. 20, yeah, it's I twenty think, something. I think the yeah. official count is it's like it was like twenty four. I think it was like twenty seven. But the question I have is, are they okay? Yeah, it is okay. It is a regular card. I, I think I think these are all new. Yeah, cards, right? I wasn't I sure. Well, I also wasn't sure if they were the like shadow cards or whatever the 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 replicate yeah. cards. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, somehow, in between, like, the last two, like, in between her harassing Rene in, like, the mountainside and her getting home, she found five cards. I like to imagine that she found them as she was walking home after that, because she realized, oh, she did all that work to get up to the mountain, right? And then realized, oh, wait, I have to go home yeah. now. Fuck. I didn't think Yeah, I am, I am an eight-year-old girl, and I do not know how to get home by myself. Oh, God, it's dark. Somebody call my mommy. Oh, God, we have a lost child report out for Atropos, the uh, psychotic leader of the uh, Abyssalus sisters. Right, yeah. So I like to imagine that in between, like, literally in between last week's episode, this week, she went and found these five cards. Uh, one of them is a shark. And one of them looks like it's a... Uh, yeah. What is it? There's a... It, what's the... Yeah, there's a... There's a fucking... Uh, there's a conch cell or whatever, like a prehistoric. It looks like they're all fish based or prehistoric based or something. Man, I cannot tell what the fuck is that sperm looking thing. Wait, right the, in the sperm it. looking thing? Yeah, the the one the, the the fourth card, the fourth card. The, I wouldn't call. Yeah, the fourth card from. The I wouldn't left, call that. That looks like a, just the, a little guy that just looks like a weird ass Mega Man villain. I don't know about sperm. I don't know what yeah, your like, why your sperm would yeah. ever look like a little monkey man with a big ass red eyes and a and a helmet with an arrow on it. Yeah, it looks really weird. I I don't like it. It looks really dumb. But anyway, look, look, uh, we have the mammoth amalgam. I don't know what the fuck is this thing's design is. It looks really weird. I'm not gonna lie. I I I I'm really it's really hard even when you see it in the bright shot. I still don't understand what the fuck I'm actually. I mean, it's at, a blizzard right? mammoth, I guess. Um, I don't really know. I mean, I guess. Right, because I, I don't know what, what this weird arm thing is doing. Because you know how all these mammoths supposed, supposed to like. Weird yeah, arm. I'm I trying to. What the fuck look, I think it's the. Is it the trunk? I think it's the trunk, right? Is, is that what it's? Is, yeah, uh, it's, the, it's his trunk. The arm. I think so. Yeah, I think the trunk is, at least the 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 actual arm is the trunk, and I think that the other arms are the legs that are like crossing over it. Mm, okay, okay, it's, it's, this is fucking. Yeah, because weird. the head, the right. the head of the mammoth, quote unquote, is on the shoulder. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, it's all fucked up. Mm. It's all fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now, these things are frightening. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, look, uh, yeah, so they attack, uh, look, uh, they attack, they, they attack, uh, Sina, uh, Atropos, uh, gaslights her, uh, she is really falling, uh, falling for, like, this eight-year-old girl and her trick, and her, and her tricks, you know, yeah. right? She's like, oh, man, this eight-year-old girl must really know what she's talking about, you know? Yeah. Right? Yeah, and then, uh, and then, we, and then, we, does not at any point speak up for herself? I thought we, I thought we already established that we're gonna, that she speaks up for herself? Right? Yeah. All right. Like, like, I thought she was supposed to be better by this point. I guess not. But she takes all this really directly. Right? What's that? Going back to fact, I don't understand what they're doing with her character in this show. Right? Like, that this is like just feels like such a weird regression of her character all of a yeah, sudden. Yeah, it's because of this. It's weird that she's all of a sudden focused on something that she's never focused on before. Mm hmm Like it's it's it's, it's so fucking strange that she immediately loses it. Right? Yeah. She. Uh, yeah. Uh, she, yeah, she she loses it. Uh, Atropos is just teleporting around. You know, she's zip zip zapping, yeah. right? Yeah, and then um, uh, and then uh, yeah, uh, that's the episode. Uh, and everything. Uh, Rene is in trouble. Uh, Hotel is getting freeze somehow. I don't know. I don't know how he's losing this fight. And all of a sudden, uh, when he has platinum god charm, you yeah. know, right. Uh, you know, if only he remembers to, uh, power... Hey, it's like when Goku forgets to go Super Saiyan, uh, fucking 3 every time. Instead, he just starts at <laughs> Super Saiyan 2 and gets his ass kicked. Uh -oh. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess that makes sense, but yeah. 
Uh, yeah, no, that's this week's episode. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, meme to soon uh, come, but uh, here's what uh, here's the inspiration. Uh, here's to here's what you can what you can come to expect. Oh, what I can visualize yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah makes sense. That makes sense. All right, all right. Uh, that's this week's episode. Uh, stay tuned. Next week, we're gonna see a school play next week. Yeah, I, I guess, guess so. All right. And there's gonna be a and there's gonna be a school play or or, or 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 something. You know, look, look. This play will happen no matter what. Yeah, the know, show right? must go on. <laughs> Right, you know, look, was it Mikuru? Mikuria, yeah. Mikuria, look, he's unaware of all this action that is happening in the background, yeah. you know? The only thing he cares about is the play, you yeah. know, right? All right, that's it. I, I, I think that's all I, I, I gotta say. Yeah, this is, um, this is a wild fucking yeesh. yeesh. Yeah. Sure, all right. All right, that's this week's episode. Okay, thanks, bye. So I started listening to NPR in the Boy, car. Boy, that's now. really the, that's you know I thought it was bad that I was listening to the fucking traffic and weather station, but I think it might be worse to listen to the NPR because at least traffic and weather on the eights I get to hear about every car crash on the Beltway. Right, but, 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 but I started listening to it by accident because there's a there's a whole uh, story about that, right? Mm-hmm. You know, right? Because right, I don't listen to music, you know, I don't. I don't act- actively listen to music anymore. All, right, all I do is podcast now. I'm a podcast guy. It has something to do with our podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't listen to our podcast. Right, look, 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 look. Just like a chef, I don't eat my own food, yeah. you know. Right, uh, right. Yes, I listen, so I, I listen to other podcasts, right? But every now and then, when, right? So whenever I drive, I always just, I always put up a podcast to listen to on the drive, you know. Yeah. Right, right. Instead, as opposed to, but, you know, every now and then, I have to drive somewhere that isn't, Worth the time to like actually put up a podcast, you know, to listen to. Yeah. Right? So sometimes you yeah, just turn on NPR like, and let shit just play. Ah, uh, right. Yes, yeah, so I just put up a like if it's like a five minute drive. Like, yeah, that's too much work to to pull up a podcast, you know, to listen to. Right. So that's the thing. Right. So before Richard, I was listening to a radio station, right. But I got real tired of that radio station. Right, because all I did was kept playing the same music over and over again. I'm not trying to say I am above music, mm-hmm. you know, right? And I'm above, uh, uh, yeah. uh Rolling yeah, Stone. Hipster, hipster shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, right? I just feel like, man, it's like, like this radio station, I guess it was like just like a band that only played pop culture hits, you know? And I was like, I already know all these songs. I already know. I feel like just listening to this stuff, like, I can only listen to Journey so many times, you know? Yeah. Right, you know? Yeah, right or uh or 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 anyone else so i just so one day i was like i'm just gonna flip through radio station to see what what i get right and uh so then one day i found this radio station this is the lead up to npr by the way so so right so so one day i found this radio station where i was like where, where it played music i have literally never heard of before okay like these are songs that i did not know even existed i was like oh okay Sure, why not? I guess I'll put this up uh, for my daily. I'm mean, not for my daily, but for whenever I have to do like a three minute, two minute drive, right? And so, right? So, and then, uh, and then in terms of then for like the next two months, for some reason, I always timed it perfectly whenever I drive. I get into my car, it only ever played music, mm-hmm. right? So, I didn't know what the. So, at this I still don't know what the station is, by the way, right? But, but this, but all these songs were pretty faithful and hopeful, mm-hmm. you know, right? And a lot of love, right? Until one day when I was parking, the song ended, and then there was just like a bunch of Christian oh, and, and prayer God. and stuff. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's why I was, I was like, hopeful. Oh, is this like. Oh, wait, is this a Christian radio station? <clears throat> this is when you find out that here? you got into Creed. Right, this is what I just listened. And then they were like, they're like, yeah, if you enjoy, be sure to join our community prayer app where you can download our app. And oh, you're going like, to pray it up with Mark Wahlberg? I was like, what the fuck is this? I was like, oh, was like, and then it turns out I was listening to like, Christian music for like the last two months subconsciously and everything. I was, it was really weird because I was thinking like, man, all these songs mention gods a lot, a lot, right? I was like, I wasn't sure if they were actually referring to God using it in like a literal sense or like, or, or to say like a figurative sense, you know, about Yeah, they don't usually use God, it like, figuratively. 
Right, so I was like, yes, yeah, so all those times when I was just listening to these radio, listening to the station, when he mentioned God, I was out there, I, 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 I wasn't sure if they were actually talking about God or uh-huh. I was like, oh. Yeah, but then I, but then I found out, I was like, oh. Yeah, so then I was like, oh, man. And then, but then, and then after that, and then after that, after I heard that first ad break, right, where they talk about their Christian radio station in their prayer app, I completely messed up the, messed up the time, because now every time I, I turn on that station, I will always be in the middle of an ad break, or them talking about their, uh, their, their Christianity app, or whatever, or their Christian mingle, or whatever, I was like, yeah. oh man, this sucks now, I completely messed up, I completely messed up the, 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 the synchronization with this, with this station, so I can't listen to this station, so then I just started flipping through the radio station, and then I found NPR, and that's it. So he is, so, now, so it was either like, oh. Christian radio or NPR, is what I'm hearing, that's yeah. a really bad, I, really bad dichotomy to live in. I would suggest listening to the weather in traffic station. It's got some real bangers. Every time that there's a... Uh, oh. Every eight minutes, they'll tell you about uh, the fires and shit, or... No, wait, every ten minutes? Yeah, it's every ten minutes, because on the eights. And they'll tell you about every fire happening on the Beltway. You'd be surprised how many cars, how many vehicle fires there are in any given day of a day in the area. It's quite, am- it's quite amazing. Sometimes you'll hear some crazy shit like, Oh, hey... Some idiot on a uh, on an electric scooter got tried to get on the Beltway, uh, and they've caused a crash. I can't believe that people are that dumb. Uh, how the fuck do you cause a crash on the Beltway? Because you're oh, because they took an it? e-scooter on the Beltway. Oh yeah, they they overloaded. Yeah, I mean, they went. They tried yeah, to go on the Beltway. They I assume they got they crashed or fucking cars tried to dodge them and they fucking caused a crash that way. Hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But yeah. Yeah, so that's just my uh my uh car station uh life now, right? Every time I try to um uh, every time I, I I have to take like a two three minute drive to get food or to pick up pick up something, right? Yeah. But yeah, that 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 that's that, 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 that's what I deal with now. Well, that sounds like a a great uh switch to have in life to go from uh religious uh zealotry to the NPR state sponsored media, according to Elon Musk. <laughs> 